Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm testing Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 once again on PC, but this time I overclocked the GTX 750Ti I added 200MHz to the core and 400MHz to the VRAM and I'm using the Core i7-4790 with two cores disabled and no turbos, so it's as close as possible to an i3 as you can see, two cores and four threads, just like an i3 then I just going to try it out again. So the problem the game had about performance so far was that if I tried shadows on high and 1080p it will drop below 30 frames per second. Yes, this game is capped at 30 frames per second. Then another thing, I'm using cam overlay for the yellow letters on the bottom left corner of the video. If you want to know how to use it like me, just Click on the top right corner of the video where the cam logo is. I'm also using a <coughs> an Xbox 360 controller for this, since I'm not good at ma with mouse and keyboard on this game. But yeah, let's see if I can bump up shadows till high. Okay, so in the options menu, let's try it on high settings. Now let's hope it doesn't drop below 30. Yes, it does. A little. But it holds up better than before. So we're going to free battle. And let's see what happens. Yo! 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 And the same map as before. Okay, we're at 29 frames per second, that's way better than before. It used to be at 20 frames per second before the overclock, so that's awesome. But you're better off playing with, um, Shadows on Medium. It just will be at 30 all times, and it won't ever drop below that. But if you're... I don't know, I don't notice much of a difference with medium shadows. The game still is pretty much the same. But yeah, here it's dropping below 30 a lot. So I suggest you just choose shadows on medium. It's still playable though. But it's not too bad now. It's more stable than before. As you can see there, it dropped to 25 and 24 frames per second. So yeah, don't play it on with high shadows. Unless you are playing on 720p. As you can see, it dropped below 30 a couple times, uh, I mean below 28. It doesn't seem so smooth. I'll try with the i7 later and see if it improves. But yeah, not recommended on high shadows. I couldn't tell much of a difference, so you'll be fine with medium shadows. The thing is that the game is capped at 30 frames per second. That's a developer's decision, so... Nothing to do there. It seems like the game's code is tied to the frame rate, so unlocking the frame rate sh might break the game. So some badass modding sh is necessary, apparently. I mean, some crazy modding, and that's a shame. The game should run at at 60 or more than that. 
since so much, so many people has like GTX in the 70s and 980s, I can play this game at 60 without an issue, and <laughs> the developer just blocked them without any explanation. And since this is a fighting game, it should run at 60 frames per second. Okay, come on, fight! Yeah, but as you can see, not very smooth at all. So, uh, let's now try lowering the shadows to medium. I mean, even without overclock, shadows on medium was running pretty, pretty well with some drops to 28 when something very demanding was happening but yeah, just when this fixes it but yeah, I won't, for, I won't forgive them about this port because you just can <laughs> choose these two resolutions and this is a PC game so there should be way more resolutions to choose from There's people with 4x3 four, four monitors, 16x10 monitors, and 21x9 monitors, yes. And they can choose just 16x9 resolutions and just two of them. That's not fair for anyone. Okay. Yo! And they should have more anti-aliasing options, like MSAA or at least SMAA, not just FXAA. I can notice a lot of aliasing on the characters, you can sh see it right now. But as you can see, now it's at 30 without any problems, and GPU is at 77%, so... That means that the GPU is not having much of an issue to maintain the frame rate. But yeah, this game I suggest you to play it at 1080p, medium, medium shadows, the rest turn on, and you'll do totally fine. You can play it at 30 stable frames per second without an issue. It will just stay at 30, even more with, with overclock, as I did, since this overclock makes the game more stable on my card. I mean... Without overclock, it usually drops to low 30 when a crazy attack is going on or something like that. Uh, with overclock, it doesn't happen at all so far. So, yeah, but I would like to see at least 900p on this game. <laughs> it would have been better. Hey, let me go. I'll switch characters. Hey, that's me, man. Okay, they're wrecking me. Great. Yeah, there it dropped below 30, just for a second. And now it's drop even more. But you're not having control here. <laughs> that was awesome. I could give him credit for that. And the shadows are very smooth so far, on the characters at least. On the outside world not so much, even on high settings, as you can see in the house back there. And the shadows are not very high quality, but on the floor they are very awesome. Yeah, kill me please. Okay, they wrecked me there and they keep hitting me for some reason, <laughs> even though I'm dead.
Come on. I wrecked ya. I won't try 720p because even without overclock it was over 30 over yeah at 30 frames per second. Even with shadows on the maximum. But now that I'm thinking about it, yeah I will test 720p since it will drop in to 28 frames per second when shadows were on high. Yeah, die. Yeah, very, very angry. Oh, it's great, I gotta say. That's enough. Okay, let's now try 720 on the maximum. Tins. Without overclock, it dropped to below 30 a lot of times. Let's see. So, high shadows and 720. Whoops. I forgot to put shadows on high. My bad. Let's see. Now we're talking. But uh, I will repeat, uh, I put shadows on high on 720p because without double clock it dropped below below 30 sometimes and it wasn't very smooth. But yeah, for some people 30 frames per second is not smooth. On this game it is, in my opinion. Since the developers made it that way. Let's see. Yeah, now it's way better. It should be at 28 frames per second now. And it, and it isn't, thanks to the double clock. As you can see, this game isn't using much CPU either, just 15%. This is pure GPU. So there's no point of t testing it with the i7, but I might do it anyway. I mean, the S7 will be using like 5%. Not head, Suriken! And you can see the GPU memory usage is 1 gigabyte. So if you have a 1 gigabyte video card, you can run this game just fine. Just put shadows on medium and you should be good to go. Ah, uh, well, I don't know if you can play at 1080p with that one gigabyte card, but on 720p you should be totally fine. Now nah, send shoot again! Nope, you won't hit me. Can't touch this. Oh yeah, got him. Okay. Let's switch. Perfect. Okay, I think I kind of destroyed him now. That was awesome, I gotta say. Oh, 
Let's try the secret technique. Secret technique, I mean. I see. That's very inspiring, man. Okay. We have a winner. That's enough. Okay, guys. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.